I can't wait to give Chad a full body sponge bath. I know, and then we can compare notes about when I saw Miguel all natural in the locker room. Simone, just be sure that you keep Whitney away from Chad. She may say that she has no interest in him, but I guarantee you that she will try to get him away from you when you turn your back. That is so not true. Where's Chad? We left him right here. Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. Sugar Bear, you seem upset. What's wrong? He, it's, well, it's about Chad. He's in the house. Chad what? is here? Well, you see, he's, he's, he's... <gasps> Whitney! Get off my daughter, you bastard! Daddy, don't hurt him! You think oh. you can force yourself on my girl and get away with it? Hold on, hold on. Daddy, please! Everybody Stop. get out of here! Oh, Daddy, he's hurt! Wait, see, see, wait, wait. What is this about Chad being hurt? It's his side! He's bleeding! Oh, my God. That's why he fell on top of me. He was weak from losing blood. We, we found him. He was half-conscious and bleeding on the wharf, and he wouldn't let us take him to the hospital. That's why we brought him here. Okay, everybody, please, just get out while I examine him. Whitney Russell, I am waiting for an answer. How do you know where Chad lives? Have you been to his place before? Yeah, Daddy, I, I have. Compared to being an only child. Well, I want an explanation, young lady, and I want it now. Mom, when we were visiting Chad at the hospital right after the accident, Jessica was candy striping, and she asked me if I could just go to his apartment and get some clothes for him to wear home. And I said yes. How could I refuse? Chad had saved my life. It was the least that I could do. You're right, honey. I agree with your father. Remind me to get Jessica for trying to play matchmaker. TC, would you go to the hospital and get some antibiotics for Chad? Sure, honey. I'll call ahead and have a kit waiting for you. Okay. Mom, are you saying Chad can stay here? Well, if we take him to the hospital against his will and, and he leaves, he could just worsen his condition. I'm not happy about it at all, but I think it's probably best for Chad if we just tend to him here. Yeah. I mean, after all, he did save Whitney's life. Not once, but twice. Well, I'll be back shortly. This is my big chance. Now, I want you to come help me find something else to wear, because when Chad wakes up, I want to be wearing something sexy and grown up. Okay. Simone, what is that that you're wearing? Oh, it's just another top. Go in there and change into something decent right now. His mom. Oh, but where is Chad going to stay once he dresses bandage and put him on antibiotics? He doesn't want to go back to the hospital. And, and he shouldn't go home. I mean, he'd be there all by himself with no one to look after him. So you were suggesting that Chad stay here until he recovers? No, no. Come I was on. just saying that maybe... Come on, Whitney. Chad has saved your life twice. We owe it to him to save him. Oh, well, how very altruistic of you, Simone. And how very self-serving. We'll talk about the reason that you want Chad to stay here after you go and change that... top. Is it a mistake to let Chad stay here? 